do a show, pop the rack with my newest band. 50 bands, 80 bands, 100 bands. I'm the American dream. Spitting too much drive, need some power steering, cruising to a better vision, y'all. Yeah. you face that mask on don't even know where my face at plenty don't even know where to waste that all these in the room how could you waste that huh why would you chase that it's a never ending run on this racetrack no matter what i'ma stay black it's a never ending run on this racetrack need more jewelry what i tell myself as i write my eulogy ask the mirror how you put up with this foolery in reply how you put up with this song and dance all this buffoonery long romance death what it do to me yeah make any dream was a nightmare he was dancing with the devil for his life yeah we all on the dance floor girl come with a dance puerto rican in the breathing heavy little am i looking daddy couldn't tell him nothing because we lost them already cozy boy with his spaghetti with the money and fame the price come heavy Come heavy. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New York Giants 
and the Carolina Panthers. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now a handoff looking right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Right of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing on first down is Carr. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Go Chief! Purdue! On second down, here's Carr. Over the middle to Beckham. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Well, they go with a slant that time. 15 yards at a first down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. 7.34. Purdue. Purdue. Where's the hot? Car now on first down. Being chased out left. And he slides to avoid the hit. That's 30 yards now in the last two plays. Back-to-back 15-yarders, -back and they're rolling. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. Low, low, low. Hey, 7.34. On first down, Carr. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And that'll bring up second down. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Carr will try it again on second down. Now he's flushed out left. 
And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. Throwing his car on third down. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field. So let's see what this is about. After the made field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 21. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. This running game is so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity. And that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week. And right now, we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. On second down, McCaffrey. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He lost two there, and it's third down. Hey, hey. Keep coming. 20. Throwing on third down. Newton taking a shot for Samuel. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. They give him a gain of 38. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Kill. They'll run it here with Brown. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. To throw on second down is Newton. Going for the deep ball. Got a man that's caught at the six-yard line. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. As his guys are in for six. And the Panthers are going to take a first-quarter lead. Extra point try, good by Godot. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Godot out to kick this one away. And 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much of margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going absolutely there's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them here's a second and two now from the 33 Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Into heavy traffic, and that's intercepted. Picked off near the 29, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Keep in mind, he had the three-interception game last week, so we requested to talk with him this week. He was all smiles. He's still all smile. Yeah, we didn't jinx him at all, did we? No. Because ordinarily that happens, uh, <laughs> things fall off. But not in this case. I think a lot of it goes back to his technique. His ability to see the quarterback throw the ball while understanding where the receiver is running his route allows him to make a lot of plays on the football, and he's taking it away at a really high rate. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey, and he'll get it down this time to the 17. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create, and if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. He's going to get it running right. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. This is third and goal. And this Giants defense, they have withstood the test thus far. McCaffrey. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. 
Gano the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Gano out to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And a terrific return as they finally do stop him, but not before he's inside the 15. And that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. They've got to go out there and try and stop them. But boy, what a tough spot they're in. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. It's a gain of five, and it'll be second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll bring up a third and one. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Out, out, out. Go, go. Get set, get set. Right now. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed. A big hit for a loss. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Now they'll throw with Carr. Escapes the sack. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. K1 short. Breaking throw to get him for a loss of seven. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Hey, we're good, we're good. Go Chief. From the gun, it's Carr. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to six now. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And on to the field, here come the Panthers. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. A 
Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Second down, here's Newton. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Shotgun snap for Newton. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Aaron Donald in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. Taken from just outside the 30. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And it'll be giant football first and ten. The New York set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. Second down. Open man right side is Ingram. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. 734, 29. Low, low, low. To throw again, Carr. And now he'll tuck it and run. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Carr can beat you in a lot of ways. The scramble there, a perfect example as he gets the first. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Carr. And he rifles one incomplete. Trying to get it there to D.D. Westbrook. That'll bring up second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit. But only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Now they try the right side here. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. 
A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Giants are a two-point conversion away from tying this football game. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is cut to one at 14-13. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check. That's rock now. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey and able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Now a first down throw for Newton. Eluding the pressure right. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. Caught left side. It's Beckham. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. So first and 10 now from the 30. Express. Car now on first down. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Into the red zone. It's Carr. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And with that, they'll take a two-point lead here in quarter number two. So that's three field goals for him now, but heck, he's not even halfway to his career best of seven. Seems like the seven field goal games are the kind of games I always get assigned to in my other job. Let's hope for this offense's sake they can start cashing in on a few of these drives. So we come upon halftime here with the visiting Giants out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Go, 
A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing it. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Aaron Donald in there to sack him, and that is 10 for him now on the year. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Out of the gun, Newton. And the pressure gets to him again. Aaron Donald in there for sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. They will go for it. Now Newton. He's going to air one out. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. Throwing on first down. Carr. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives them a first and goal. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. And they're able to up the lead by one more. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. That he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. That's number four. Sack number four. They had four last week. So he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they say the eye in the sky does not lie. And that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Alec Ogletree. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now after the INT, it's Carr. Rush coming, and he's taken down. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. 
What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Call it a three-yard gain, but they'll be forced into a third and 15 coming up. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. On third and long, it's Carr. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And that will give him a 12-point lead. So make him four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. Carolina getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Here's Newton now on second down. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Third and long, it's Newton. Looking deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. T.J. Carey right there in coverage. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big-time receiver. And New York set to take the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Carr now, 9 of 17 through the air. Not a great percentage, but it is first and 10. Now a handoff looking right. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. 
doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty because now it makes it third and six after the false start. Shotgun now for Carr. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he's got this down to the 35. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now Carr. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Throwing on third and long. Carr. And bringing it in right side here. Beckham. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Odell Beckham with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Giants add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late. And now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is... Is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And with this deficit... You can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, if some, there have got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Give him three on the play, and it'll be a second down. From the gun, here's Newton. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The Panthers on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and seven. From the gun, Newton. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet 
to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. That good for 19 at a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, usually you don't think of the cornerback coming in for a no-gain play, but that's what we had there. Nice tackle. Yeah, and how about the range, too? Coming from the outside part of the play, moving his way into the inside and making that play happen. No gain for the offense. Big play for the defense. It's caught. Back up. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now Carr throwing on second down. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Carr now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. On play action. Now Carr. That's into the hands of Westbrook over the middle. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now they try the right side here. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. Right. 
They go play action here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Shaq Thompson not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Get set, get set. They'll run it now out of the gun. And not much running room down to the 32. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The Giants on third down. They've hit four of seven. Six, this will be a tough third and 18. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Flush to his right. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Evan Ingram, his first touchdown on the year. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can—you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. They're down big here late. I, I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Tackle by Bradley Chubb, the number five pick in the 2018 draft. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. They'll give it up to McCaffrey, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Desperation time. Newton, fourth down. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll run it on the toss. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did 
Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Giants, it's an important win in terms of staying in the postseason race as they move to 6-4. and four. And they'll get another road test next week as they have to go to New Orleans to take on the Saints. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, it was a game they really needed as they dropped back to 4-6. and six. And they'll look to get back on the beam next week as they host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.